Is there really a secret security update for Juma 3 end of life? No, it's not really a secret. That was just clickbait. But there is a very little known one, and we're going to talk about it in today's Maintenance Monday. Hey there, Juma fans. Tim Davis here. Thank you for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 279 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. Let's work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term, or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. All right, let's turn our attention to the screen, and we'll get to the topic today. All right, so Joomla 3 was end of life as of uh, August 17th, 2023. But there are some large sites or heavily customized sites or big companies out there not ready to migrate to Joomla 4 yet. And so Open Source Matters, the governing body of the Joomla project, contracted or entered into an agreement with the company to provide a long-term security update to Joomla 3 at 90 euros per site that that is applied to. So that's about 100 US and in Canadian dollars where I am, it's about uh, $18,000. Anyways, so that uh, is available for companies to buy. But recently with the update of Joomla 4.4.1 being released and Joomla 5.0.1 or 5.1, I forget what it exactly is, there was a little patch that was released or a little fix and the fix that was needed there was also something that was in Joomla 3. And so there is actually a way for you to update your Joomla 3 site, if you're still using Joomla 3 for whatever reason, with this little patch. And we're gonna see how to do that now. Now, the sponsor of my channel is MySites.Guru, and MySites has this handy dandy little tool that installs the file that closes this minor security weakness that is still in Joomla 3. Now we're in the area of mysites.guru where I manage the Cornerstone Gospel Church Joomla website. And as you can see, I can take a snapshot of that website and while it is running, it's going to take a look at the site at a bunch of best practices and looking for things that I can change or settings or things that I can know about or learn about. And as it finishes that snapshot, we can scroll down and we'll see right here, CVE 2023-4626 language any file parsing security fix. That's the file we're talking about. And you'll see over here that it's red, which means it has not been patched yet. That file's not in there. Well, look what I can do. I just have to click it and it's taken care of. That site is patched. Now, there is a way for you to put this patch in without MySites.Guru. Before I show you that, let me show you something even cooler because I use MySites to manage multiple Joomla sites for my clients. If I click here, I can see this tool's results everywhere for all the sites that I'm managing. And you'll see that only two of them right now have that patch installed. But in order to uh, put that file in all of those without having to log into the back end all the time, all I have to do is just slowly go down here and click OK. And you know what? I get the happiness of hearing a ding that tells me I've saved a lot of time every time. Now, I won't make you watch me do that whole thing, but I will show you how you can get this patch to manually install in your site and what you need to do after you manually install it. But what you want to do is go over to this GitHub page here. And this is the GitHub page for TL Web Design. And what you're going to do is go to code and then download the zip file. You're gonna download that, save it to your computer, and then we'll replace it because I had it there from practicing. Then you're going to go into the back end of your Juma site. We'll still do the Cornerstone Gospel Church site here. Go to extensions, manage, and install. Then click on the tab for upload package file. Then you're going to go and you're going to take that zip file that you just downloaded from GitHub and install it. That will put in the language file. But now that you've installed that, you really don't need that plugin anymore. So now go to extensions, manage, and manage. And here's what I do. Just click on the ID column and click until you have the highest number because that's the ID is the most recently installed. You see here it says language hotfix. Click this, click uninstall, and we know that even though you've uninstalled that uh, plugin, that the fix is still installed because look, I can go back to the page for Cornerstone Gospel Church. I can take a new snapshot. 
Scroll down and check, and yes, that is still green. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.